Spending time with your family? Yeah. Watching a terrible Tubi movie? <laughs> oh my gosh, how many? Marcus Houston, Kendra, all right, all right, all right. Listen, day. listen, Marcus, I ain't with her. I would never. Chris, we're not, we're not gonna Chris throw, Trump's. we're not gonna throw Batman. We're not gonna throw Batman under. Okay, he gonna go in front the of the short me. bus. I, I, he gonna go in front of me. And then Why? Chris Strokes gonna go at the bottom. <laughs> Chris Strokes. <laughs> it's so appropriate. Anyway. You good ones. They had some. They, they had, had some potential. Movie, you listen, know what? They listen, movies be having Listen, potential. listen. This ain't even supposed to be what we doing, but we doing it anyway. <laughs> when it comes to... I sound like Lori. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like Chris Strokes. Christopher B. Strokes. <laughs> That's even funnier. Christopher B. Strokes. <laughs> <laughs> and the B stand for butt. <laughs> All right, all right. Movies be good, right? They be good in parts. I've never seen anybody have a good movie and a bad movie in the same movie consistently. <laughs> it's consistently. It's, it's, it's consistent consistently. That, it's like, it be like, it start off, sometimes it start out good. And then it be, and like, it be like, okay, 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 where we going with this? It get plot twist. Okay, okay. Sometimes like, what the F is this movie about? Yeah. Yeah, that's when it turns into... I don't, I don't know if we're going to finish this movie. I don't got the strength. <laughs> I don't have the strength. I would have to live all the way to the gym. That's a mama movie. Finish. I don't know which one it was. Some <laughs> let in. Some, some, some. Uh, I do, don't know. What, what, tell me the part of the movie with the, the little mama movie that really started to go left for you. Turn like this. Turn it the other way. Because we ain't finished the movie okay, until yeah, right now. The dude that came in trying what, to... What was his occupation? He was like a... Social worker. He was like a. <laughs> whatever. He was working for whatever. He was a social worker. My bad. I, I thought he was a lawyer. The movie was so. It dragged. And we we got to an hour. And I'm like, what is this movie about? We made it through that far? I don't know. I think I don't we know made about, about that. I think but, we made about 40 minutes. But listen, minutes. listen. So in the 30 movie, minutes. she was a mother who got her kids taken because she wasn't a good mother. A lot of y'all out there are just like her. No one is taking your kids yet. They should. I digress. So, after she got her kids taken, she was able to get her kids back momentarily, right? A social worker, a brother, helped the sister get back her kids from the system. You see the way I put that? Y'all like that, right? So, now, that's the part of the movie where we pretty much have stopped and haven't gone back at the, at the point of this recording. Because first right and foremost, they had that dude looking like he was so desperate to be with a baby mama. And how many kids she have? An attitude with about three or four kids. So she got three or four kids. She a criminal. She own, she own all kinds of welfare and, 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 and abusing the system and not putting nothing back into the system. And this brother with a decent job and a decent looking brother, might I add, right? He looked like he was desperate. He was like, I would mama. just love to be your Russell Wilson. I would just love <laughs> for you to run me over and do whatever you want to Please, do. Please, baby. Because you're a ghetto back woman. And, I, I, uh, I can't do no better than it's three. It's like, oh, I'm so eager to change you. And it's like, bro, I, I can't. I know that's where the movie going. It, if we got, finish it became it. cringy. It, it became cringy. To me. Yeah. I just it's just the, his demeanor started to feel like he was just trying to be desperate to be with her or something. Our mentality, I think for us specifically, we're not the type of brothers and sisters that enjoy a ton of hood related like, yeah, you're right, you're to right. be movies. Now, it's some, I'm quite sure there's some gems but on I'm there. But I'm trying to get them chances. Yeah, we always watch them. We've been watching them on Amazon Prime. And says, we I, watch all the underground movies. Let me complain, damn it. Because sometimes if you don't, don't complain, they're not gonna get better. It's like y'all don't want to take constructive criticism, so I'm gonna complain about what you put out. Maybe you'll put something better out. Stop putting all this negative stuff, making black people just the negative stereotype, and then get mad when people put out love stories. It's like, oh, it's corny. It's okay. boring. Oh. That's all. It's boring. And because it don't have shooting and drug dealing and stuff like that, nobody wants to see that all the time. And then yeah. it's like with the savvy love stories, it's almost like the love stories is like, oh, the woman uh, comes with a kid, she gets done wrong by her black husband, white man comes to his day. Or it's like, it's always a stupid love. It's never like, 
Love Jones. And matter of fact, it's never a woman not getting her way. And Love Jones was even toxic. It was. It was toxic. It was so toxic. It, I mean, I, I mean, it was like a nice toxic, but it, it was still toxic. I don't know if I've so, ever heard the word nice. It's and almost toxic like where sense. can we meet where to where it's some it's a little drama that people can overcome without using God. So oh boy, this heavy. Is with that part. And it's like. It's always what's wrong, never what's, an outcome of what's wrong with them using God in the movie to solve the problems of the movie. It's it's not wrong, but it seems like there's no accountability in movies, and, and they make it seem like fairy tellish. And I know movies are movies, but these people are really mo- most it's their lives to, like movies. It's supposed to be mirrored. Off of real experiences, more or less, right. right? You know, now you know in Soul Food they had family problems, just like all of us have. Right. Like all races have different family problems. Now, here is this: Who were we told, or who did we really think was the villain of the movie? Um, Faith, basically, yes. she because yes. she screwed a cousin's husband. Right. Who was the real villain of the movie? You won't believe it when I tell you. You won't even get it. Go ahead. I'm going to give you two guesses. Who was the real villain of the movie as to why the family lost Big Mama and, you know. Big Mama. Okay. Well, Big Mama was kind of, yeah, kind of the villain because of. Because of the toxic traits that everybody held. Nobody was held accountable for. Nobody was held accountable. Whatever. And she was the patriarch of the family. Right. And so everybody used food to come together. And so nobody's really sitting there talking about their problems and trying to make solutions. Everybody's just using food just to come together. I'm glad you said keep saying food. That's the real villain. That goddamn salt. <laughs> that goddamn salt. Now listen later. That goddamn salt. That salt. Man, if it ain't white, it ain't right. That damn salt, man. <laughs> <laughs> the salt, the salt took Big Mama leg, and 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 to and then it took her, right, right, yeah, right. It took her out of here, right, right, right. That in the, in the sweet yams, and you know how I love yams, but Baby. I put I put a limit on the mother. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You're yeah. not finna take my life, yams. So you hear me, yams? <laughs> yams listen, candy yams. If you watching this video, just know King Richard ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going. So I'm just. I'm not going. I'm not. You won't take my legs. Now back to Big Mama, or is it Big Mama? It's the food. Uh, back to the food. The food took her leg, right, with the diabetes, right? Mm-hmm. Huh? After it took her leg, it ended up taking her life, right? Right. Now, how did they bring the family back together? Food. The same shit they took. <laughs> 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 The food takes out the patriarch of the family. And how do they celebrate and get back together and unify? You know that food that killed Big Mama? Warm it up. (laughs) (laughs) Would you chill? Some of the songs we got, we know they not they not it, right? We know right. it. You know this though. You right. make it up. No, because you're making it for. You know. You sometimes know if you have a bunch of kids, some of them ain't it. <laughs> some of them ain't gonna make it. If you have enough kids, some of them ain't gonna make it. Yeah. You just link with certain things. But when it comes to music, television, um, culture, uh, I feel like if it's going to be broadcast to the world, I feel like it should be good. It should be done right, at a right. certain level of quality because there are songs I got that even this I was just doing over there that some of them are pretty good. Some of them need a little, a little polishing up. They need to be recorded right. They need to be mixed better. Right. Certain things like I know that, so I'm not putting all this stuff out. Like you, once you put something out with your name on it, it represents you. Yeah. Wherever I am in the world. If I'm married to you, I'm representing you in some form or fashion. As well as when you're at the club or you with your friends on a girl's trip or whatever, you're representing your husband in some form or fashion. Yeah, you are. That's, because that's somebody why they, can see you and see you out there doing something. Then, <laughs> then, you know what I'm saying? Now you are all over the blogs or something like that. Like yeah. That's why representation does matter. It yeah. does matter. 
Because, like I said, I got a song called, I didn't, I didn't play it, and I just remembered it at this moment. It's called All My Heroes Are White. Oh, they like, I don't hear that, man. If y'all want to hear it, let me know in the comment section. All My Heroes Are White. And because when I grew up, all my heroes were. The masculine guys, and I like it was black folks and Mexicans and well, Asians. And I'm just saying, a lot of the heroes that I looked up to that were masculine and manly and macho were white. And you know, because I showed a lot, I showed a lot of the movies to you. You know what I'm saying? From movies to wrestling and all that stuff, a lot of them, them guys were white. So that's my identity of what a true man looks like or carries himself as. Steven Seagal, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone. You know what I'm saying? These are the, you know, The Rock, uh, which I don't know what The Rock is. What is he, Samoan? And he was Samoan or something, but he wasn't a brother, technically. So if your representation of just about everything you see doesn't look like you, Jesus. It might ruffle a few feathers. You'll live with it. So it's like, that's all, that's all I'm saying is, think about it. Like, remember when we went to my grandma's house and what did our daughter say? Our oldest daughter say? Um, Jesus, she said, why did uh, grandma got a uh, Jesus? That bird killing your ass. Shit. I see you will not die, okay, Brianna. <laughs> gonna kill that kid. No, now, I, had the ice. I had the ice. I had the ice. Okay, look. Yeah, why do Granny have a a uh, black Jesus over here. over here on the figurine, but a white Jesus on the picture on the wall. Now think about that. You got a white Jesus in your house. We're just jumping topics. You got a white Jesus <laughs> in your house over here on the wall or a figurine, and then you got a black Jesus. Now, come on now. Come on now. You got to even admit that's kind of confusing. So that's what I'm saying is that imagery. Yeah. So if you seeing nothing but negative black men around you, you're gonna more than likely, as a young man, become the next one. Right, right. You, if you're experiencing young, black men not being good to you when you're younger as a black woman, you're gonna hate black men growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm saying we get this stuff early on, and it festers and it continues and it perpetuates throughout and permeates throughout our culture and our society. Mm -hmm. And everybody that I noticed that just about everybody that comes along and say we're gonna do something about this, we're gonna change this. Yeah. Our people find a way to say no, you ain't. Right. <laughs> you yeah. get we gonna take and, you and out of here. Right, and then complain. And yeah. like when we were talking about the hip hop awards and the BZ or whatever. Yeah. They had to bring out the young OGs and the OGs basically to save the show. If I gotta bring out Soldier Boy to show y'all what semi quality high quality music look like. And it's like people aren't performers either. It's that, like, what are they doing? Karaoke. It, stuff I was doing over there, obviously I was messing up on some lyrics and stuff like that. Because obviously I'm doing it out loud. I'm blah, 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 blah. Some of these lyrics I haven't seen in months. I haven't seen in months. Yeah. This is my first time seeing them. As soon as I see them, I'm trying to get my brain to react to how the pattern goes. Because just like you, I change my flow pattern all the time in rap. Yeah. So it's about caring for the art and the culture and the craft of things. Because... At the end of the day, y'all people getting paid. Y'all, like right now, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't getting that love, right? Right, right. right? You can see, because if, if I did, I mean, I ain't shade today, but, uh, you know, I still got her. I'm going to be happy. I still got, I still got her. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? We're free to do what kind of music, whatever type of music we want. We ain't held to no slave contract or no industry standard or pressure by fans or whatever to make this cookie cutter shit. Mm -hmm. We can make whatever. You just heard me make 20 different styles over there. You just heard her stuff. You just heard her stuff. You probably wouldn't even think that was her. Because you looking at her face and saying how she does music. You would have no idea. You would have no idea how great she is. You have no idea how great I am. So... Y'all are looking and waiting for people to pop. By the time we pop, we might change. So it's best to get on the train now, support while somebody's already free and can make everything and, and just can and do all they want to do. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to waiting for somebody to get popping because y'all say it all the time. When people get popping, they turn Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That money got them, got them, you know what I'm saying, forgetting who they were. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We still starving artists. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though I had Dixie Queen earlier. I'm still starving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm starving. And y'all have to support quality artists and stop <clears throat> complaining about 
Man, everything sounded like. Yeah, but and what look, don't sound like? Look, I'm gonna change sugar real quick. And shit, tired of people saying this man that got classics. This man got class. My kids listen to Bow Wow, bro. Nice. Like, yes. like watching Bow Wow. The think district. this man still, still hit the age he was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. like, yeah. Li listen. This man got classics. This classics. man got hits. Y'all forgot who Bow Wow. They forgot Bow Wow was at one time. You can say he, he was corny. bigger. He was bigger than rap. Right. You can say he <laughs> corny. You can say whatever you want to say. Right. You can say whatever. Not, do not take away that man accolades. Do not take away what he has done. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, that, that's some ha real hate shit. Yeah, because take away what cause think done. about it. Since Bow Wow, since Bow Wow become obviously, um, you know, on the other side of his career, you know, everybody goes up, goes down. Since he's become, you know, focused more on te television and not music yeah. and all that stuff. Name another Bow Wow. I wait. Like for real. Name another person. Name another team that came after Bow Wow that was even close to that level. Romeo tried, but he wasn't even close. I'm just being mm. honest. No, no, he wasn't. He was, he, but he was the next thing. He was the next like, thing. But he was out with Bow but, Wow. But, 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 see, this is the, but I, I did like Romeo over Bow Wow because I, I love No Limit. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? And, 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 yeah, we you know, I was, I was a big fan of No Limit. Right. So, uh, but... When I really start to listen to Bow Wow for real, that man had bars, bars. Yeah. Like this man really, like Romeo, he, he was all right, but he didn't have but, but, like punchlines that 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 Bow did. The disrespect of our legends, man, we disrespect. Man, we disrespect. We dis nobody so disrespect bad. black legends more than black. Black folks. people, yeah, and nobody. it's like black people. Black Not people so close. quick to to disrespect each other and then want like want to pull up on you. After disrespecting you or somebody, it, it's just stupid. It's, it's the so dumbest stupid. thing in the world. But it's like when it comes to the other peoples, I don't be seeing people do that. I see. Wait, people. wait. Did you just say peoples with an? Yeah, S? peoples. You know what I mean when I say peoples. <laughs> I add them peoples. I think them. I don't even think there was an S on that. I think it was a Z. Yeah, peoples. peoples. Yeah. Peoples. Peoples. At the end of the day, y'all do as fans have to support what you say you like. Y'all spend way too much time, and I and I've been. They spend too much time uh, um, complaining. Yeah, you know I'm saying they spend too much time on what they hate. I hate beats, and I don't mean like beats like boom 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 like that. Obviously, like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom 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 like that's how beats sound these days. Nigga, you I'm talking about beats as in the vegetables. Yeah. So guess what I don't do? I don't spend my time following people who eat beats and. And all of these right. things you like that. Like why? That. Why would I do that? I right. hate it. I spend my time. I love fruits, so I spend my time making smoothies. Looking up what type of fruit. Looking up fruit recipes. Like things like that. It makes sense, but right. we've been conditioned and programmed to spend more time on what we hate. Right, and see, my like, like I said to somebody, I said I don't listen to Nicki Minaj. I mean, I'm not gonna take from what she has done. Hey, she, you can respect what she good, does. Yeah, I can respect her as a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and that's I, something we can't even do. But now. that's not that's not my style, and that's not what I like. Right. And um, like prick. I said, even even with Cardi B, that like I'm not on her type of music like that. So like with some like with her personality though, that's what makes me follow her. Right. Because her personality. And, and and just like with LeBron, he he's a great at what he do. A legendary rapper Tech Nine from Kansas City. You know, I think he's the number one independent rap seven hey, artist of yo. all time. I've been watching him since like what 2000, 2001. I don't per se like his music. I think some of it's kind of straight. Yeah, you know he's what I'm saying? Great rapper. Yeah, he, he he's amazingly amazing. talented, right? We amazing. all like if you ever listen to him, you know he's super talented. Right. But I don't per se like his music. But watching his interviews, I like his personality. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. We have to learn to be able to respect somebody and what they do mm -hmm. great and give them their flowers for that. And say, and still yeah. at the same time say, I, it's not for me. Me, Because right. when people used to, didn't like our music online, we'd be going Good back man. and forth. Like, oh, man, you, you don't like me now. Oh, now it's more like, no, I'm very content because I know what I make. And it don't matter if you're the only fan they got. That's cool. If your cousin rap. And he's really good or she's really good at singing or dancing and you're the only real supporter be that be don't there. wait until everybody else say right. well your cousin is dope so i'm gonna start now nah, by the yeah. end it's gonna be too late no let somebody know that you watching them let somebody i know you be hating that you like, like why are they watching but they not saying why are you watching but you ain't saying they like they're watching around 
Hey, yo, I seen your uh, video the other day. You know, I seen your little video. I seen your little that. that. Listen, I don't want to hear that shit. Right. Because if you seen it, let me know you seen it so I can know that, oh, man, you rocking with We're me. You rocking with me. I need, it, especially now with analytics, um, algorithm, data, the stuff like that. Like, you can see when somebody likes or shares your stuff, right? Right? And I, you can track that, if right. you will. And so, if you saying, when I see you, you know what I'm saying, at the gas station, or I see you at the family reunion, you be like, hey, am I seeing your videos? I've been watching them. But yet, I ain't seen one share from you. I ain't seen one like from you. I ain't seen one comment from you. That's fake love. That's definition of fake love. Because you don't want people to know you rock with me, low key. I'm not going to pop off. I'm never going to get there. Because the support from the people that are closest to me, they know how I really give it up. They're, ne they're never going to help put me on that pedestal so I can get to the next level. Some people are there for a season, and you got to leave them for a reason. Mm. Y'all put that in your pipe and smoke it like Krizak. Hmm? For real. Say it again. Some people are there. For a season. Mm. And then they gone for? A reason. So just like their family that brought you down, their family that don't support you, their family that always got something to say, making lies up about you. Mm -hmm. Get away from them. Leave them in the dust. Leave them behind. Because they're not going to do Do you. Nothing. Follow your dreams. Do what you need to do for yourself and your life. Yep. Never look people. back. Don't look back. I don't care who it is. An ex, a mama, a daddy, a cousin, an uncle, a brother. Because you're going to quickly find don't out why. look back. When we know them as family members, they still only show us a percentage of them. Mm -hmm. See, that's another thing that's different from us. And I know the internet and everybody, you you don't really know nobody, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't around them all the time. So, right. most of the people that we know or, or that see us, they're going to see us in passing or on social media, right? right. Can't tell because anybody on the internet could be lying. And I mean any and everybody. But the difference is, some of us are actually the same in person as we are on social media. Some of us. A lot of us aren't. Most of us aren't. We don't have time to keep up with four or five different personalities. This is the one right here. I'm too lazy to have four or five different personalities. Way too lazy. Oh, wait. I have about five different personalities, but they're the same person. Oh, and she just asked me. Uh, I guess it's time to do the parent thing. Yep. I don't feed kids, I starve them. Uh -uh. I don't feed kids, I starve them. Mm -hmm. Hey, check out my new single on Apple Music uh, called I Don't Feed Kids, I Starve. <laughs> get out, get out. Everything's a song. Everything. That's how, but see, that's how I feel like a lot of times when they making songs, you know how, how they be, you know, everybody these days kind of punches in, punches out, get in the studio, listen to the beat for a minute, go in, think they Jay Z, come out and make some bullshit. And you be like, so y'all just you know, put no thought to it. Right. And, I mean, you can make music however you want to. That's the great thing about it. It's the freedom of that. But don't get mad when someone says, it's, that's microwave. That's microwave. Everybody who's had a real home-cooked meal know there's a difference between the microwave and the oven. We make oven music. Matter of fact, we should come out with a mixtape called Oven. You know music. what? You're doing too much. Get your ass out here. Well, uh, it's been a wonderful time. It's your girl, Jay Quinn, the goddess. And your boy, King Richard, and aka the god of rap. We out of here. Yeah, we gone.